From Southeast Texas, we welcome you inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Houston Astros. Number 44, with less than a month to play, the man who sits atop the home run leaderboard looks to add some insurance to his lead next. Number 13 will be on the mound for the Strohs. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you want to know if this guy's one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. Here's Starling Marte. Leading and we are set for, for baseball here this evening. The center fielder, Starling Marte. Here's the pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get First left pick. behind. Seven and that's 11. exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line the line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. I'm going to chalk that one up to he didn't see it too well right there. To get such a late swing on an off-speed pitch, a good curveball right there to go down 0-2, he's got to regroup. Fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. And he takes strike three called on the curveball that time, and there's your first out of the evening. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? I'm definitely excited to watch Josh Bell in this one. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Set to get his batting evening second. at the plate started. The Kevin Newman base. batting just a notch Number below 27. 300 so far on the season. First offering on its way. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Temperature here at game time, a comfortable 75 degrees tonight. Bases are empty, one man out. Newman stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He was selected in the first round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Count is one and two now. The one two and it's fouled away
the one two hits this one hard the other way low fields it cleanly throw on to first two gone so bases are empty here with two gone and first. digging into bat the next the big the bat of Josh ball. Bell Josh Bell Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. And now the Astros will go to work for the first time. No score. At the plate to Oscar Hernandez. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. To Oscar Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And he fouls this one off. Now here it comes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And the Pirates have their first base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. That is it. The third baseman, Colin Moran. <laughs> First pitch on its way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Shoot over to first. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And let's take a look at Ender Enciardi. The name of his game is speed. Covers a ton of ground. Great arm in the outfield. Ability to play gold glove caliber. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Polanco. First pitch coming. Here it is. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. to send him packing pitch on its way grounder down the line at third and that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third and the runner from second will stay put at third so they're runners at the corners now with one away Dan I'll tell you it doesn't matter what it looks like right there that lawn dart felt so good oh Dero this guy's been due he really that needed that one the designated hitter Number Into the box now, Kevin Kramer, as he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 1. 
And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute and hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now at the plate, Elias Diaz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The catcher, Elias Diaz. First pitch of the at bat. Zero. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. All ones the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. The 1-1 home. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. Two balls and two strikes the count of the Pirates catcher. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Batting up. The top dog. Number three. Stepping in now, number three. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he misses with it, 1-1. Third inning, no score to this point. Chopped at the plate. And there's out number two. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. Starling Marte. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. It's one and two. Slow roller left side. 
throw in time and the side is retired. One two three go the Pirates home half of the third coming up no score. So digging in now Kevin Newman as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in but that hasn't been the case. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. That evens it up one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Skied into straightaway right. In Ciarte's there. And that's the first out of the inning. So striding in Josh Bell he got called out on strikes his last time through yeah in today's game certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts but no one likes to go down looking expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AB strike one to start the at bat. Bregman is over to take a look and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Grounded baseline played on the backhand and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Now at the plate, Colin Moran. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Moran. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. That just oh, misses you. off the inside for ball one. I really like watching righties throw that cutter in on lefties' hands like that. This one was down too, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good chance he's going to pound it into the ground. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two is a fastball that misses. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Great A B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. 
Now the three and two pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season and you can see it's been a great year for him as he leads the AL in that category at this stage of the season. Striding in Gregory Polanco one for one after a single this first time up. Polanco. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Ball. Breaking ball called just a bit One low. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. The 1 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it, the left fielder makes the play, and there are two gone now. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Next will be the designated hitter, Kevin Kramer. Number 44. Here comes the first pitch. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, they're one strike away from being shut out through five. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Now that catcher. Elias Diaz the next to hit. Line drive base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey after back to back two out hits right now. This pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning and now he's got traffic and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. Number three is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1-0. Count now a ball and a strike. Hit on the ground to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Pirates strand a couple. They're down 4-0. So the lineup flips over and digging in Starling Marte. He'll start things out now in the top half of the six. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. He's baffled by the curve that time for a strike. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Right. 
fouled off. Ready with another 0 2. Scorched to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in, Kevin Newman 0 for 2 for him to this point. Number 27. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Now batting the first baseman, Josh, Josh Bell, the Bell. next to hit. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a chopper foul off to the left as the count moves to 0 and 2. it back up the middle. Diaz scoops it up. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Pirates. They trail here four to nothing. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Try to check it and it's 0-1. The pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And you can see it's been a great year for him as he leads the AL in that category at this stage of the season. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. That and that'll bring up Colin Moran. Colin Moran. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Bregman is over to take a look, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And a fairly easy play there as he'll back up a step to put this away for the second out. Here's Gregory Polanco. His line includes a single and a fly right ball field. and two at bats thus far. Polanco. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. A one count. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Nope. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Here's the one and two delivery. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Time to get up and stretch here at Minute Maid Park. It's the Astros four, and the Pirates nothing. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Kevin Kramer last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Looking up is Goodwin. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot to right center. Home run number two for him on the year. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. Next to the Pirates, the catcher, Elias Diaz. In now, Elias Diaz. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far he's just ringing up strikeouts left and right but what's really impressive to me he hasn't walked anyone either he's just pounding the zone his stuff is dirty today now that number three into the box number three this he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one 
He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oni pops it up. Diaz into shallow left. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, Starling Marte. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Marte. Here comes the first pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. The bat, number 27. Standing in now, Kevin Newman. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Astros four, and the Pirates one. series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series a four to one finish in this evening's game the Strohs took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end number 13 wins for a league high total 24th time as he turns in eight strong innings of work Ryan Presley hammers down the save, his 42nd. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.